Hey, Sausage Sleuths, it's me, the number one Sausage Sleuth, Joe. I'm here, I'm ready for business, and this is Nancy Drew, the secret of the Scarlet Hand. I'm ready to solve some mysteries today. First up, why was the hand scarlet? Whose hand was it? Um, hands? Who's got them? Who wants them? Who needs them? And in fact, what was... Oh, we actually already know what the substance was. <laughs> We, we found that out. It was like zinc or something. I don't know. If you know, you know. I don't think it was super important to the story. But, oh, maybe it was. Anyway, I think I know who did it. I think it's the art dealer. And the game is suggesting that Henrik had something to do with it. But if I'm being honest, I do not think... Oh, no. I don't even remember what notebook I wrote this down in. Oh, here's my notes. Snake. Is it Coatl? Oh no, I don't remember what snake is. Do y'all remember how to write snake in this language? In, or the what language it is in snake? Oh, crap, we're not doing this already in this. <laughs> now, the, now these are my notes, but I definitely didn't write it down for some reason. It is Coatl, did I write it down wrong? Oh, oh, I need the word for stone, don't I? I was right. I need it for stone, though. Oh, I just had to write stone. <laughs> Why can't I remember something from week to week? Why can't I remember something from one week to the next week? <laughs> not, not this. The word for stone is stone? What is going on? Ah for boys, X for girls. After prefix, the name of a mammal, reptile, or bird. Oh, okay. Hearing children their first name. Oh, I think I know what to do. We need to take that quiz, don't we? I feel like I need to tell on somebody for, um, you know, stealing stuff, but we're not quite ready to do that. I don't remember why I got this box either. I think the box came out of the package. Apparently I need to be right next to him, Henrik in the, in there. So I needed the word for the glyph, which was stone. Well, if I tell on them, I'm really telling on myself because I did steal that one tablet, but it turned out... Wait, why did I come here? <laughs> it turned out that I needed to steal that tablet because that was one of the counting tablets. Perfect. It's oh. locked. <laughs> All right. Made it in the first door. Just as I suspected. Now, if I were a second door, aha. Uh -huh. Exactly where I thought it would be. I think I got to the next level. And I will tell y'all, I'm cheating on the exams. Because I'm not in school anymore. I'm not. That's not the move. Memorizing. I'm not doing that. Just so y'all know. I don't. Do I have the key to these? Can I steal some more stuff? Did we do this? Oh, this was the glow stick machine. It's locked. Didn't I die in this machine once? Or am I just remembering differently? I did that and I did it right and I did it really well. But wasn't there another quiz down here? We'll, 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 we'll figure it out, don't worry. Here we go. I bet this is it. At last, you have found the secret resting place of King Pakal, Lord of Palenque. Once you have completed all the activities for this level, get your souvenir light stick. I did the calendar puzzle. Oh, I don't need instructions. I already did it. Oh, Maya God matchup. Oh, I don't know if I did that. 
Level three quiz. I don't, I didn't do that. Maybe I did do that. Oh, let's just see my project. Quiz, matchup, calendar. This is a very conf what I would call a very confusing chart. Does that mean I didn't do the calendar? I wonder if Henrik would remember the answer. Probably a jag you are. I think we need to go ask Henrik. <laughs> I think I need to go ask Henrik. Something's not right here. I'm not entirely sure I got credit for this. Oh shit, and I even remember doing this and, and I did it really well too. At one point, I really knew the answer to this. I forgot everything about this game. When I say everything, I mean every single thing. <laughs> y'all were like, you have 20 minutes left. But y'all didn't count on me not remembering anything. But there's something that you didn't count on. And that's my inability to remember anything. Yeah, Henrik never remembers anything, but it, I think it is visiting hours, so we'll go... Oh, unless it's 11 p.m. I don't know. I haven't seen the outside in days. It didn't show my... Pro oh, I didn't put my card in the computer. So we're gonna... We did it then. That's good to know. Thank you. Good afternoon, young lady. This is a long this shot. This is a long shot, but do you know what animal Pakal was afraid of? You're asking the wrong amnesiac. Henrik. Henrik, I received a note from your friends in Copan. I've got the Copan fool key. I still need the Pakal, though. How's your memory? The tomb. Nancy, I hid the Pakal carving in the replica of the Pakal tomb at the bottom of the temple exhibit. Huh. Now, how did I think of that? And another thing. You'll need to get past that computer quiz. Sonny set it up with an impossible question. No one knows what Pakal was afraid of, but Sonny was petrified of the Coatamundi. It's an ornery oh, bandit Archie. with a narrow snout and a long ring oh, tail, dear. much like a raccoon or a polecat. Coatamundi. Okay, I think Pakal we have our answer. Pakal made a six part key I'm in whispers. it now. I'm back. Ten and scattered the pieces around the world. Do you remember anything about this? Six keys? Six keys? Six keys! Nancy, what are the four corners of the world? North, south, east, and west. Plus the first king, Pakal himself, and the Copan fool. When they're all assembled, they open the tomb. Don't you see? This is why I stole the Pakal so he didn't to prevent some it, so other like, schemer from putting the key together. There was another schemer. Maybe I'd better tell Joanna what's going on. You must keep this to yourself for now. Well, for all I know, Joanna's the one who was going to gonna steal it. Although I think we all know at this point it's the art dealer. You rest or the, up. I'll be back. The one I'll who owns best. the Mary Poppins art. Poppy Dada. Poppy <gasps> Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong. <laughs> Diddy Kong. He said he just really falls asleep. Not like crop dusting under the hospital gown. How do you crop dust your own hospital gown? 
<laughs> you can't crop dust your own clothes. That's just your body. Wait, what's that? Oh, never mind. I don't care. It needs a car. Oh, sh shut up, Nancy. <laughs> oh, shut up, Nancy. Okay, let's view my progress. Oh, perfect. I need to do the matchup. Can I do the quiz first, though? We'll go do the matchup. I don't even know where that is. It must be down here somewhere. Oh, that's the, um... Oh, yeah, I don't know where that is. But the Pakal, the part of the Pakal should be down here, I guess. I would guess. Now, if I were... Oh, it's none of... This is it, right? Oh. oh, this is where I get my complimentary glow stick. I totally did that. I'm never doing it again. It must be part of the computer? Or else I'm just walking past it over and over and over again. Which is so me. Oh, unless this is it. Oh, I found it. Thank you. Okay. Should I just ask Google this stuff? Smartphones exist. Wait, is this? This is Maya, right? Mayans? <laughs> Episode four. This is the Mayans? Episode four. Oh, thank you. Don't forget my card. I do appreciate that. Who was Balak, the Mayan god of? That's not a sentence. Uh, the god of war. Is that all I have to do to link them up? Oh, I guess so. The Mayan god of death was Apuk. Okay. Did he have a, a different name? Oh. Earthquake god and god. Oh, no, 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 Different spelling. Oh, interesting. These don't match up with anything. Hmm. <laughs> uh, uh, either Google's wrong or Nancy Drew's wrong, and I just don't know. Uh, Fab and Beardsy, thank you so much for the four months. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Good to have you here. And Rach <laughs> goes to work. Wait, why did I come here? She she just went there because she had a fake dad. She not a fake dad. <sighs> Cause she had a rich dad. Oh, here we go. Palenque. Oh, this is the Game Boomers one where none of them work. Oh, no, 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 no. Here it is. So this one is death. This is Jaguar. Okay, we did death. This one is Travelers. Ooh. A god for every occasion, mama. Moon, the half moon Joe god. I got Balak. Uh, Tlaloc. Tlaloc is rain. God of come clean by Hillary Duff, mama. <laughs> Ahaukin is the sun god. Oh, I missed one. 
This is wind. So this must be corn. Oh, thank you so much. I do appreciate that. I am great. Okay, now I will we'll put my card in here. I will view my progress. Beautiful. Let's do the quiz. Oh, I think I know the answer. That's it? <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. That was it? Oh, let me go get my complimentary glow stick. I'm ready for my complimentary glow stick and to be sealed for all eternity, mama. Have you ever been sealed away in a tomb for all of eternity? Or were you not gagged at the gig? Did I just steal another thing? Oh. Wait. Oh, there's cash in his... <laughs> I thought there was a lot of cash in that dead in that dead thing's mouth. And I said, Mama, next stop, Vegas. I'm going to be playing the Sex in the City slot machine and getting free drinks all night. <laughs> okay, that, you know, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. How do I leave it? Oh. Not ding dong. Can I have another one? Is this actually... I don't think they just send Pakal's dead body around the world. But I don't know. I don't know. I know about Pakal because of the Amazon Trail game. And also, uh... Was that Mayan? It's been a long time. Shabalba? It's too dark in here. I need a light. <gasps> this is just like that other game. Okay, first of all, a museum would not do this because this is quite literally... It's just open to the back fucking door. That is literally not some... Like, that is a hazard. I should walk forward in the dark. Oh, do I die? Okay. I'll take your word for it. Let's go. Okay, chat. Let's go die in the dark. It needs a card. If ah! I better go back. Ah! I'm sorry about the broken <laughs> leg, Nancy. I'm sure you Honey, understand. Honey, how did we'll I get a rich dad? Suing. We to will, will be suing exhibit. you, you because my leg is broken. Nothing personal. Bye bye. She's like, you're fired. We weren't paying you anyway. <laughs> That's 2022, mama. That's just 2022, mama. We weren't paying you, but you are fired. Okay, let's stick the box in here, maybe, or... Something's missing here. Oh. Something's Sh missing shut here. Shut up, Nancy. Something's missing here. There's another pack. Can I combine these? Something's missing here. <gasps> A light bulb. A modern-day light bulb. Missing oh. Here. Something's missing here. Yeah, it's my fucking patience. <laughs> yeah, it's my fucking patience, Nancy. That's what's missing here. <laughs> what's the fastest way out of here? Oh my god. Oh no, I'm stuck in a sp spinning spiral. <sighs> Uh, chat, what's... This is... Okay, wrong answers only. Do you understand me? Dear chat, what's missing here? Dear chat, something's missing here. What is it? Wrong answers only.
a corn dog in Rick's brain cells. My love life, Rachel. Gay characters. My will to live. A wall passage with Rachel. Oh, she should have been in that wall passage. <laughs> All right, who can I go annoy about this? Who should I go tell this to? It seems like I need to make some phone calls, no? I'm gonna go to my hotel room. I've had a day. Mama, it's been a day. Do I know people's phone numbers? It'll tell me when I pick it up. Yeah, yeah. Who's Franklin Rose? <laughs> Why can't I remember anything about this game? Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? This is Nancy Drew. Calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, Franklin please. Franklin Roosevelt? Nancy, hello. Do you have any news? Who the hell is this? I need to contact a woman named Prudence Rutherford. I noticed she's on the board of the Topeka Commission for the uh. Arts, and that they've donated money to Beach Hill. Oh, Nancy's dad's friend that got her the her job down? through nepotism. Well, you're oh, in it. luck. It so happens that Prudence and I sat on the panel of judges for the Kansas Speak No I thought I already talked to Prudence. For three years in a row. Back when I lived in Wichita. How's that for a small world? That's Dad where Justin's never told from. Me he lived in Wichita. Wichita. Indeed, I did. I've been to I Wichita several to times in about ten years. But let's see if I still have her in this old dinosaur of a Rolodex. Ah, yes. Here we go. Got a pen? It's area code seven eight five 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 seven two seven nine. What's this all about? With the red-handed thief, Ms. I had a necklace. I've got to go. I think Ms. Rutherford had a run-in with a red-handed thief, much like the one who took the pacal carving. Ha! <laughs> You're a real pro, Nancy. Say, why don't I call ahead and let Prudence know what's going on? Did I not talk that to Prudence? That way I can say hello, and she'll be expecting you. Now I think you're reading my mind, Mr. Rose. Um, Rach, Thanks. thank you for Not the bits problem. again. I appreciate that. And Froggy Girl, thank you for the bits too. I appreciate that. Brit Stabs and Kit Kat Moss. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for the bits. And Brittany May. Don't worry, we haven't been playing the game that long. We really just kind of started with the game. And also, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I have no Nancy Drew. I have no, I mean, you I have no memory. The villa ah! of Prudence Rutherford. As you may have heard, the sanctity of my home has recently been violated. If you've reached this recording, it means I've gone to my quiet place. So please don't leave a message. You are welcome to try back another time. If you are calling this about is the not her voice. Law, Rest assured that the show will go on as scheduled on the 9th. What? Do I need to call her back? Brittany May, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Again. And Great Scott Dot, thank you for the bits. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you. You've never heard this voicemail? I need to call her from the museum. Oh, that is a grand idea. Exactly the kind of idea I would have, in fact. Some time has to pass before I call her. Oh, that would make sense, too. We'll just go on a... You know what? Maybe, let's just sleep for 12 hours. <laughs> um, you know what? I think I'm... In fact... I think I'm going to go sleep for 12 hours. I love riding the metro. So that's just who I am. That's just what I like to do. In fact, I think I'm going to sleep for 12 hours. Oh, my neck has been sore today. I've been doing my... Um, 
my neck stretches and they've been helping a lot but it is not the move today Three PM go into bed. Uh oh, ten AM. How many hours of sleep is that? Three nineteen hours of sleep or something like that? <laughs> okay, I'll call her and then I'll go see Henrik and tell him about this uh, the drama. I never called her? Phone calls are my least favorite part about Nancy Drew games, so that probably checks out. I won't do them unless I have to. I don't know if I even typed in the number right. Yes, hello. <laughs> it's Mrs. Doubtfire. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling from Washington, D.C. <laughs> hello. I'm trying to reach Prudence Rutherford, please. Oh, yes. She Franklin told me you'd smashes be calling. her face into a pie. It goes, news hello. about Beach Hill. I will do everything in my power to help you catch those rapscallions. To think how they violated the sanctity the what of now? my domicile. Rapscallions. Did Mr. Rose fill you in on the museum theft? He just told me that you're young and brilliant, and that you might be able to get my fire ruby necklace just back. Just told me that you're young and your dad is rich. Oops. And that I could exploit you for free. I'll certainly do my best. Tell me, did the necklace have a lot of sentimental value to you? Yes, I'm afraid it did. I had the necklace restrung to include an exquisite jade carving as the centerpiece, a genuine artifact of the ancient Maya. The carving is not only one of a kind, but a Rutherford family heirloom given to me by my great-grandfather when I was just a little girl. Not the stolen Mayan artifact that her great-grandfather probably stole from a dig site, and she put it on a necklace. Does the carving have any meaning that you know of? It features a rare glyph. No one's been able to give me a precise translation, but most epigraphers have agreed that it has something to do with a snake, the color south. green, and the direction south. Oh, I need it's to collect the pieces, fascinating. Huh? Sounds like it. Do you think the thief or thieves had any idea of what they were stealing? Oh, they must have known. <gasps> the rest of my valuables were left untouched. Frankly, I don't know whether to be grateful or insulted. Uh, your style is trash. Um, when did you realize it means your style is trash. The first thing I saw when I opened my eyes was this positively ghoulish red handprint on the wall. I nearly jumped out of my skin. A red handprint was left at the scene of the crime at Beach Hill, too. Ms. Rutherford, I'm almost certain that these robberies were committed by the same person. But why? What is so special about what these is so carvings? What is special about these carvings? This is my official audition. But why? What is so special about these carvings? Miss Rutherford, I'd like you to meet Beach Hill's epigrapher, Henrik Vanderhune. Is there any chance what she you call him? to Washington for a couple of days? I'm afraid that's out of the question. The annual corn growers ball is just three weeks away, Not and the I'm the corn. head of the steering committee. Besides, this whole thing has left me so out of sorts. I'm in no condition to travel. Girl, pop a Meclazine and get on a plane. I know you would be fine in first class. But, Miss Rutherford, surely someone else can step in for you. After all, this case is more important than a barn dance, isn't it? For your information, the Corn Growers Ball is the largest gala event of the year in Topeka. Oh. I the largest gay Franklin event of the year. To to anyone, but he assured me you weren't the pushy type. I never should have agreed <laughs> to this. Goodbye. Fuck you. 
I'm not giving if I find her shit, I'm keeping it. Fuck you. Fuck you. Sit down. Fuck you. She really went after me. And I was just trying to help, but she can eat shit. Just as I thought. Trash. <laughs> just as I thought. Trash. Aspen from across the room. Thank you so much for the four months. I appreciate that. Is the game locked up? We should save it just in case. I'm not doing that conversation again, mama. <laughs> I won't be having that conversation again, mama. Thank you, Aspen. I appreciate that. Ashley, thank you for the beards. It's the, this is the work of a professional voice actor. Okay. That's who this is. <laughs> Good afternoon, young lady. Rach, th thank you for the bits, too. Oh, yeah, least favorite part of real life. Phone calls. That's the tea. You rest up. I'll be back. I'll do my best. I thought I had something to show him. Can I put this on the board? What should I post here? Oh, fuck. What should I post here? I can take this shit back. Why don't we just hand... Why aren't we handprinting people? They left a handprint and nobody has checked the, anybody's handprints. <laughs> they left a handprint and nobody has been checking anybody's handprint who was in the everyone has admitted to being there any news i'd oh. better get going keep up the good work i don't think we talked to him at all last episode i'm just gonna go talk to everybody i just need to talk Henrik's allergic to chicken. Living or dead? Can he pet real ones? Hello. Oh. I should get back to the museum. Yes, you should. <laughs> Not Nancy taking the metro across town while she's supposed to be working. Thank you so much, Brittany May. I appreciate it. Thank you for the bits. I hate talking on the phone. I hate it more than almost anything in the whole world. It's so awful. I don't even know where Joanna went. Can we talk about that? She's gone. She left me in this mu- She left me a teenager. In this museum alone. I'm alone in the museum. Oh, check my voicemail. That's a good tip. Just like in real life, I don't check my voicemail, by the way. You have voicemail. I have the a Press default zero. voicemail message. Press nine for an outside line. Can I even tell you? I have the most default voicemail. You, you would never even know it's me. Oh, thank you. I'll check it out. I'll usually check my email in the evening, so I'll check it out then. She is 100%. Wait, did they say dial nine? To... I should listen. You have voicemail. Oh, Press perfect. Zero. <laughs> I don't even... Nancy, I barely know how Joanna. to receive voicemail. The police are done giving me the third degree, but now the board has suspended me. To, to make a long story short, I'm forbidden to set foot in the museum. Could you please call Franklin Rose and try to reason with him? If we don't get a move on, this exhibit is going straight down the tubes. To replay messages, press zero. Press nine for an outside line. Me not calling Franklin you Rose. No voicemail. Press nine for an outside line. And never talking to any of these people ever again. Can I call Franklin Rose from here? Because their number show only shows up at the hotel. 
I like it so much when Nancy gets a fucking cell phone because I'm tired of taking the DC Metro across town every time I need to make a fucking phone call. <laughs> I don't remember the number. <laughs> I'm going... Shit. And I didn't mean to do that either. I'm going right back to sleep. I'm taking a 10 hour nap. <laughs> if I'm going to make this phone call, I'm going to need a 10 hour nap. Spookiest Courtney, thank you for the five months and the gift sub. Oh my God, I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Good to see you once again. Hey, we're we're like at 75% to the sub goal. Boswell, Jackson, and Rose, how may I direct your call? When this is Nancy go to Drew, prison? <laughs> calling for Franklin Rose, please. Just a minute, please. Nancy, you must be psychic. I was just getting ready to call you myself. Oh, really? Why? I feel I should apologize for the situation that's going on at the museum, dear. I really did think we were setting you up with a nice little internship, a breather from your casework. But instead, it looks like we've fed you to the lions. Well, in all my travels, I still haven't found a mystery free zone, Mr. Rose. Speaking of travel, I got a postcard from your father in Ouagadougou. Apparently, Burkina Faso has become the cultural darling of West Africa. He must be having quite an adventure. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's a lot to unpack in a sentence. Anyway. Yes, the last <laughs> I heard, he was going on to Kenya to try to pick up a safari. Anyway, what's on your mind, Mr. Rose? Oh, let me be frank. Joanna Riggs has been in the doghouse with the board for months. Her thirst for acclaim has led her to gamble the future and the reputation of Beach Hill time oh, and again. I'm gonna need to stretch this one now out. Now that we've lost the Pakal carving, one of our most notable pieces, well, she's just got to be stopped. That's fair. I mean, frankly, if you lose this many things and you run a museum, you'll probably be fired. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I can defend her. A lot of things have been lost. <laughs> and, I, and the only employee is an unpaid teenager. <laughs> I don't know what I can do about this situation. Um, how can we possibly get this exhibit around? Don't you believe she's <laughs> genuinely concerned about the welfare of the museum? Good intentions are no substitute for integrity and sound judgment, Nancy. Look, I've got a client waiting, Nancy. What we need now is for you to take up the slack. I've spoken to the rest of the board, and we've agreed that the best thing is to put you in charge. I'm not, I'm not trying to break Joanna out of prison anymore. What do you want me to do? We're counting on you to catch this thief red-handed. Ha ha. Just kidding, kiddo. If you can get the Pakal back, we'll see about giving Ms. Riggs another chance. That seems fair, doesn't it? I've recovered the Pakal carving. That's great! So the case is closed. I'll reinstate Joanna as museum curator, and oh, okay. we can get on with the business of launching this exhibit. Where in the world did you find it? Who's behind all this nonsense? Mr. Rose, this case is far from closed. Do you trust me? What in the world are you talking about? I'm sorry, but I can't explain everything now. I'll take good care of the carving, I promise. What can I say, Nancy? I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. Do what you have to do, but let's get this mess cleaned up, all right? So you'll call Joanna and invite her back to work? I'll call her right away. Thanks, Mr. Rose. That's what I'm here for. I didn't mean to help Joanna. <laughs> is, there an, is there a way that could have gone where Joanna stays in prison? And can I get her moved to a worse prison? And is there a way for me to call and make it worse for her? Anyway, time for a 10 hour nap. <laughs> Kit Kat Moss, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you.
<laughs> oh my god. Everyone needs to be fired. Oh, I don't remember what I'm doing. I think I was gonna go talk to Joanna. Is she back? Oh, girl. Thanks for clearing my name, Nancy. Oof. Honestly, I mean, what kind of moron would I be to try and ruin my own exhibit? She talks anyway, in we parentheses. Anyway, we need to make up for lost time. I need you to go to the storeroom and start unpacking some of those crates. One of the pieces has a fancy security device on it. The code <laughs> she talks is 0677. Um, oh, it's so shit. Okay, 0677. Fuck. Man, girl, jail really did a number on you, girl. You're looking rough. <laughs> Damn, girl. <laughs> Damn, girl. They didn't let you do your eyebrows in prison, did they? Let's start unpacking some of the crates. One of the pieces, fancy security. Okay, 0677. You got it, girl. Sure thing, Joanna. I'll see you later. Semper ubi sabubi. Not this. I'm going to have to be filing multiple reports <laughs> With the better, with the better business bureau, <laughs> I'm gonna be making several calls to the better business bureau after this. <sighs> is, is it on the other side? I, I don't know about these, Joanna. One with a code. Oh, that's a door. Wait, what? Did one of them have a security device on it? I remember one with this. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay. Semper Ubi Sabubi. So I'm getting... What do I have now? North, South, East? I bet the other ones are in these other fucking cases that I need to open. I don't know. Who knows? Do y'all hear that breathing sound? I don't remember that breathing, breathing sound. Need something? I've got work to do. Go to it. Wait, what did you tell me to do with this? Try calling Prudence again? Prudence hates me. Prudence told me to go fuck myself. But I'll give her a call. Uh, Danielle, thank you for the bids. Oh my gosh! I hope you're having fun! That's so exciting. Brittany May, thank you so much again. Back on the Metro. Thank you again. Uh, and Jab, eleven ninety nine. Thank you so much, first time sub. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Okay, Prudence Rutherford's number. Thank you again, Brit Steps, for the bits. I appreciate that. Rutherford Estate, Prudence speaking. I'm not apologizing. I'm sorry for what I said before. Miss Rutherford, this is Nancy Sorry to Drew. insult Please your cornball. I'm afraid this case has got me a little wound up, but that's no excuse for bad manners. Please forgive oh, me. Oh, I have to apologize no matter what? I'm just to figure out why this thief is stealing Maya carvings. And I don't have much to go on. As I said, this robbery was a trauma for me. And I do not wish to get deeply involved in the investigation. However, the insurance company made this dreadful replica of the necklace with the idea that I would wear such a thing to public functions. Please! <laughs> but I could send that to you if you'd like. Perfect. Perfect. Let me give you the address. My secretary will have the address of the museum. Now, if that is all you require, young lady, 
I will need to attend to other pressing matters. Thanks a million, Miss Rutherford. I won't let you down. Call me Prudence. Oh, and Nancy, when you find the villains who did this to me, do me a favor and give them a sound thrashing. I sure will. Goodbye. She's into spanking. And that's fine. So, I should probably sleep for a few hours. <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll sleep until tomorrow. It, well, I don't know. How long does it take a package to get here? She better fucking overnight this. I don't have time. I don't have time. She better have overnighted it, or I'm gonna call her and unapologize. I can't receive her back package until I get other packages. How many packages? I don't have to do the ham radio again, do I? I'll just go check the package room real quick. How come I haven't run into, I don't know what, what these other packages are that everyone's talking about. Oh, here's one. P.O. Box Hall. Oh, no, I got it. Nancy or Nancy Drew, that's me. Prudence Rutherford. Please deliver me of these horrid fake... Boobies? What is that word? Fake... Rubies? By offering them to the Maya God of Refuse, if there is one. Oh, fake rubies. Uh, did she, <laughs> she... She threw the fake rubies away. She tossed the fake rubies in the trash can. Okay. Now what? I have an idea. Do y'all hear this breathing in the background? I swear that wasn't there before. We did have quite a bit more of this game left. Especially because I didn't remember any of it. Something's missing here. Something's missing here. Alright, so that was not the case. Okay, well... Let me just spin. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna start... I'm just gonna walk into a few rooms and spin. Okay, I'm gonna go see what Joanna's doing, and then I'm go gonna go visit Henrik. Need something? No. I've got work to do. See you around. I think some of the voice lines are recorded, like, are... Some of Nancy's especially are from like multiple games and that's why they sound different and recorded in like different locations. Oh, when you're trying to, when you're just trying to vibe until the clock strikes five and you can leave work, just acting like you're busy, walking in a room, spinning, and then walk into a different room and spinning. Good afternoon, young lady. You Ugh. rest up. I'll be back. Be careful. All right, I need a hint. Dear chat, give me... Dear chat, give me a hint. Oh, should I check my voicemail? We need to open some dialogue here. There's a phone number to call on Henrik's disc. Just as I suspected. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we need to stretch our neck, too. Keep that neck. Well, ask your doctor if neck stretches. All right. All right for you. That feels really good when I look up. Wait, why did I come here? Oh. 
It is literally one of those days, and I'm so sorry. I at least remembered my password. There was something highlighted in red. I kind of remember that. We did that. Wait, we did that. We did snake. What was the other hint? Call the cultural place and check on that package. The info I need is highlighted in red in the notes. So I did this. I did that part. In the notes. Oh God, notes? Do people read all this? Oh, numerous pieces lost in recent some, some, some. C, 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 C. It was at the, um, oh, I see. North, South, East, West. So she gave me. Bishop Diago de Landa. Daddy Henry. Oh, Doddle Henry. <laughs> Got it. Say no more, chat. We're calling Daddy Henry. Um, which keys do I have? I wish it told me. I have Rutherford's, which is the what? Hers is the South. Let's do this. So I have South and I have... Do I have North? I have East and South. Whoa. Okay, so west is with Daddy Henry, and north, we don't know. Oh, that's that one in Arizona. There's only people on the Contact other museums. So we should contact these museums. Okay, got it. Got it. Thank you so much, Chad. I do appreciate that. All right, let me make a phone call. Forgot you before you get away from your computer, you have to close all the windows. His number was oh. Daddle Residence. Hi, may I speak to Henry Daddle? Daddy Daddle, Residence speaking. Mr. Daddle, my Hi, name Daddy. is Nancy Drew. This is a long shot, but I'm calling regarding a Maya artifact that was bought at auction in 1898 by one <laughs> Henry Albert Daddle. Does that ring any bells? Sure. Henry Albert Kill Daddle me. Sr. was my great-grandfather. You're talking about the jade carving, right? Yes, exactly. Wow, I can't believe my luck. Well, it's a lucky life if you ask me. So what can I do for you? I'm investigating a recent Let's rash give of the long the explanation involving similar Maya artifacts. Any information you could give me about the one your great grandfather bought would be very helpful. I see. Well, I was the last to inherit the carving, but my daughter Penelope was so intrigued with it that I gave it to her. Oh shit. I'm sure she'd be happy to talk to you about it. Why don't you give her a call five, on her five, line? Five, it's 5553197. Five, 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 can you just transfer me? Will do. Thanks, Mr. Daddle. My pleasure. Can you just transfer me? <laughs> Rude. Just just do like a three-way phone call. Hello? Hi, is this Penelope? Not even. Oh, is this 605 Puppy Dada? Yeah, but no one calls me Penelope anymore. Except my parents, that is. To my friends, the art world, and anyone else who made it out of the 20th century, I'm Poppy. The art world? Wait, you're not Poppy Dada, are you? Ta-da! Ping ping! You win! Who's this? My name's Nancy Drew. I'm a detective. <laughs> a detective? No way. So do you get to wear a sassy tweed hat and pick hairs off dead bodies and gross, creepy stuff like that? 
There was that one dead person. Um, but they weren't gross. They were cute. <laughs> I don't know. We did see Pakal's dead body. Actually, I try to keep a low profile, and a tweed hat, well, it's a little conspicuous. So, where'd you get my name? Don't tell me I'm, like, wanted by the FBI or something. That would be too scandalous. No, no. You see, it's all a big coincidence. Your dad's name came up in connection with a case I'm working on. Go, Dad. Taylor Sinclair. Don't tell me he's wanted by the FBI. I'll be so jealous. Sorry, Poppy. There's no FBI in on this case, and your dad's not wanted. Okay, what then? Except I want him. Someone is stealing my antiquities. Oh. I don't care about her art. Someone is stealing <laughs> Maya antiquities, jade carvings to be She's exact, no Banksy. And leaving this scary okay. red handprint at the scene of every crime. I exactly. saw her collage. So what's with the red hand? She's no Banksy. <laughs> it's printed with stuff called cinnabar. Let's just get it's into it. It's printed with this stuff called cinnabar. Nobody seems to know what it means. All I know is the more I investigate, the more complicated it gets. Drama. So, where do the daddles come in? I'm trying to track down certain Maya Jade carvings that haven't fallen that into part. the thief's hands yet. I think one of them might be in your family. You mean that ancient green rock with the weird symbol on it? I slapped some shoe polish on it and stuck it in one of my paintings. She is so done for in the art world. <laughs> You're fucking kidding. You're kidding. That's a one-of-a-kind Maya artifact, a piece of history. It's hundreds of years old. It's worth a lot of money. That's Profiting the off point. of ancient Have Maya. Have you heard the saying that a work of art is never finished, just abandoned? Well, I'm taking that idea to the limit by making art that will keep changing as different people encounter, perceive, and interact with it. I'm tired of artwork that says, don't touch. I'm all about letting go, about sending my work into the world and seeing how it continues to become. Don't you see? It's an organic process. I mean, how can people really relate to art if it doesn't come to life and, and, and grow and die just like they do? That carving is part of something bigger now. Yeah, this is some weak ass bullshit. <laughs> it's time to lay it out. It seems awfully reckless to me, not to mention the wrench it throws into my investigation. Oh, Nancy, don't be such a prude. Taylor's probably still got the artwork. At least I don't We didn't think mention he's Taylor. Why don't you ask him? Wait a Tell second. Him you want to see the piece called Deadly Midnight Snack. It's the one with the rubber shark. We didn't even mention Taylor, did we? Deadly Midnight Snack. I think I know the one you mean. But I'd rather not bring Taylor into this, if it's okay with you. I'm just not sure whether I trust him. Fine with me. I know the big bunster, Mr. Bunny Tron. Well, he rubs some people the wrong way. Has Taylor been pushing those Oaxacan cookies on you? You haven't eaten one, have you? So far, I've managed to politely decline. Uh -oh. I take it you advise against them? Let's put it this way. His trip to Oaxaca was about two years ago, and he's been trying to move those rancid lard biscuits ever since. Oh, these are just old cookies he bought on a trip. Y when y'all were telling me about Oaxaca Gate, this is not what y'all said. These are just old cookies. Thanks for the tip, Poppy. I can see you're going to be a detective's best friend. Cool. If you really need the carving to crack this case, why don't you just go ahead and take it? But wouldn't it ruin your painting? Of course not. After all, this is a chance to enact exactly what I've been talking about. The organic process. Inviting my viewers to interact with my work. The deal is, you can take the carving, but you have to put something in its place. I can choose anything? A light bulb? Oh, I have an, I I have an old light bulb. A pair of headphones? No, it should be something more organic. Oh. Stay with the title, Deadly Midnight Snack. And don't be afraid to go way out. 
Deadly artist, midnight snack. I can tell you that inspiration oh, one of his cookies. in the most mysterious ways. Okay, Poppy, if you say so. Right on. But let's keep Taylor out of this. He'd probably blow a gasket if he saw you tampering with the merchandise. That's all art is to him. Don't you know? worry, I have him killed. Merchandise. I'll make sure he doesn't detect a oh. thing. Good luck, Nancy. Thanks, Bobby. Don't Bye. worry. I'll call my dad. I'll have him killed. He'll be dead by tomorrow. What time is it? It's only 12.45. So if I have to... I'm guessing I need to put one of his cookies on it is what I would imagine. Real deadly? Are his cookies fake deadly? Blueberry, thank you for the bid. Yeah, those phone calls weren't weren't bad. I really don't like talking to Vest and George. Mainly. Thank you so much. And Brittany May, that's Ned's voice. It literally sounds like I think someone in the chat said an 18-year-old trying to sound like. May I take like a closer look at that wacky Dada painting? Be my guest. I just had a call from Poppy this morning. She says she's in a really creative period right now. I said, please, sweetie, if you get any more creative, they're going to lock you up. <laughs> uh, pardon me a moment, Nancy. I'll be right back. I hope. Did he get diarrhea? <gasps> Those look like turds. Delicious turds. Poppy said to replace it with something organic. <sighs> so we just glued a fucking cookie on it. All right. I don't, I, I don't guess there's anything on his desk I need to snoop at. It won't even let me go behind his desk. I gotta go. Now, what, what direction was that? That was either west or north? That was west, right? I'm not gonna question it. It's fine. Uh, Kit Kat Moss, thank you for the bits, too. Ah, oh, Gotta be stretching the neck. My neck is so fucked up. Just in general. Um, Uber Winch, thank you so much for the 13 months. It's great to see you. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I took one wrong turn and then I had to turn around five times. <laughs> um Oh, and Blueberry, thank you again. We love we love reading the dialogue here. Reading it. Um not the don't be suspicious TikTok sound. Kit Kat Moss, thank you so much for the bits. I appreciate that. And Rach, thank you again so much. Thank you, thank you. Subject Danny, thank you for the first time sub. Welcome. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so the move was I was supposed to call somebody. <laughs> Oh, let's check our voicemail. You have now. no voicemail. Oh, shit. I had to call, um... So what I had to do, in fact, was to call... <laughs> Full-time model, thank you for the bits. I do appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. You know what? I'm gonna go back home and look on the computer. The motel. Yeah, what is CCCC? But no, but then I was supposed to call the museums to see if they had any of those, right? Call the museums in the area? If I were gonna call some museums... This is a dear chat moment. Dear chat. Yeah, where's the number to get that? Ah! Oh, I like that username. Check on the package? Was there another package? I got Prudence's. 
No, I didn't. Yeah, I have all the packages. Oh, but I didn't check on the one. The other table in the laboratory. Oh, there's a card for them. Yeah, and I never got their package, so we need to check on it. Okay. Saved me a metro trip. Uh huh. And the metro is so expensive these days. Perfect. That's the number. Can I use their phone or do I have to use my phone? I have to use my phone. Normally, it would not be a big deal to walk from one direction to the you other. Have no voicemail. Press nine for an outside line. But in this case, it's annoying. Maybe I don't do the one if I do an outside line. Nope, I definitely do. You have no voicemail. Press nine for an outside line. Oh, pretty awful. Thank you for the five months and happy birthday. This ending of this game is probably one of your favorites of all times. I think I'm going to be really glad when this one's over too. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you, and happy birthday. I wish I knew how to use a phone. You have no voicemail. Press nine for an... That's not supposed to happen. Not the operator. Did I already call them? Should I, um, dear chat, do, should I call them from my hotel room? Let's talk to Joanna while we're here. Need something? Oh, no. I've doesn't. got work to do. Bye. The other, so my hotel phone? I can only call them from the hotel phone. What kind of nonsense is this? The phones are very suspicious. I have a question about some phones. I'm, I'm happy to be used as a consultant on how phones work for the next game. Chaco Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, I'm hoping to speak to someone about the theft that happened there recently. Are you the press? No, I'm a detective investigating a similar crime in Washington, D.C. She just this throws around Schultz, this the director. detective What would you like shit. to know? My name is Nancy Drew. I'm calling from the Beach Hill Museum in Washington, D.C. I understand you had some rare Maya artifacts stolen recently. That's right. It's a terrible loss. And the police here have no leads. Beach Hill was robbed, too. We lost one of our prized jade carvings. I'm very sorry to hear that. I'm wondering if the robberies are connected. Are you Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about the incident at Chaco Canyon? Fire away. Oh. I heard the thief left a red handprint at the scene of the crime. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, it sounds like it George. It was very gruesome. Or it what, like whichever blood, one. But according to the police analysis, the print was made with a mercuric sulfide paste. Do you know of any symbolic meaning attached to a red hand? Don't walk. Don't go there. Talk to the hand, as my 15-year-old would say. Really. <laughs> I have Not as my 15-year-old would say. Talk to the hand. That is a throwback. What types of artifacts did the thief get away with? Only the center's most prized pieces. The case contained five pre-Columbian artifacts that were excavated right from this area. 
Which piece would you say is the greatest Just loss? Just ask in Nancy. Definitely the she's, jade carving. She's asking leading unusual. questions. There was a glyph on it that no one could translate. Until we hired Henrik Vanderhune, that is. His opinion was that it's Mayan in origin, and that it may have been a place name glyph for this area. As you can imagine, we regarded it Let's as something of a regional treasure. Do you know that Henrik Vanderhune works for Beach Hill now? Yes, I know. His departure was a great loss for us. Was Henrik still working at Chaco Canyon when the theft occurred? No. Oh my god, it is it like Chaco It happened just a few Chaco. days after he left. I remember because after the police left, the staff and I were so depressed, we went into the lounge and pigged out on the rest of Henrik's farewell cake. Good god. Do you recall having some <laughs> appraisal work done by an art dealer by the name of Taylor Sinclair? Good god. How could I forget? He went on and on about the impossibly rare artifacts he could get for us. I said, it's are you a dealer Taylor. or a smuggler? But he assured me that the provenance documents would all be in order. Still, I never did any further business with him. He just seemed slippery. Could you send me a photo of that slippery. Jane Slippery. So I can take he a look at He does look greasy. Glyph? I'm afraid I sent our only print off to the insurance company. They said they'd return it, but who knows when our claim will be processed. I'm sorry. I've just got to get my hands on a replica of that jade carving you lost. Do you have any ideas? Not off the top of my head, but maybe one of my staff will have a bright idea. I need some time to ask around. Can you call back later? Sure thing. Feel free to call if you have any more questions. I am always down for a 12-hour nap and then to sort this out at a different time. Uh, Helena Burke, thank you for the 16 months. Not this. <laughs> Absolutely not this. Thank you so much. It's good to see you. How much is she paying per day for this hotel room? She's... This is a very expensive hotel room, I'm sure. In D.C.? Chaco Hell yeah. Canyon Cultural Center. Hi, this is Nancy Drew calling. Hi, Nancy. It's Sheila. Well, we racked our brains. Finally, one of my staff came up with the original box that the carving was packed in. Am I going to need a 3D print? The piece was encased in a tight foam cast to prevent damage during shipping. I know what I'm this is. I'm not sure how much good it'll do you, but I can send it to you if you like. That just might work. Henrik left Beach Hill as his forwarding address, so I know what to do. I'll send it express. Thanks a million, Sheila. Good luck with your investigation. I really have to sleep another 12 hours, don't I? <laughs> no! I'm sleeping 24 hours! <laughs> this is me before I got antidepressants. <laughs> Waking up for five minutes and then setting my alarm for 24 more hours. <laughs> What is this life? Oh, I'm already there. Ah, oh, did I just... No, no, no. Did I just take the metro to my own house from my own house? I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, look. It says I can do... I can make this like... Oh, never mind. Sorry, I was playing with the uh, maximized screen options. Where was I going? Oh, yeah. Check on the package. Joanna's like, why didn't you come in yesterday? And I'm like, why didn't you pay me yesterday? <laughs> why would you pay me? Sis, you want your employees to come in. Why don't you pay them? I bet I can make a mold from this foam core. All right, I think there's some sort of squirty squirt machine in the lab. What have we not used? Isn't there a machine that looks like it's squirting? There we go. What's this? Something's missing here. That part. <laughs> that part.
I knew all about that machine. The first time I saw it, I knew that was the squirty squirt machine. Not this. Uvi, Uzi V, thank you for the 20 months. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, Rach, thank you for the bits. I won't be reading that. <laughs> Prince Steps, thank you so much, too. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Now, is it... There's something I'm supposed to put these on before I can stick them in the statue, right? Or is... Or do I just stick... These just stick in the statue, no? Dear chat. Now, see, I... I thought I should steal this. Hold on. I'm gonna try to steal something else. Wow, these are heavy. Perfect. I'm not sure I can hold on to these stones for very much longer. Wait, this is timed? I've got to put these things down. Girl, set them down. I don't give a shit. I understand. I'm... A Oh, did she just put him? Oh, no, they're here. They're... Beautiful. The poem said, when the first king ascends again. Uh, you're shitting me, bro. Let's just save that right there. <laughs> I don't know what happens if you just hold them. Does she just get crushed under their weight? Me talking about my balls. Ew. Can I back out and then read? Is there a post about this? Her, le her legs snap. They smash? Okay. I fucking love that. I wish I would have done that. And you have to use a second chance. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, what is all of this? Is there a... I have an idea. Didn't I try to pick these things up before? <gasps> Here we go. Take the stones, go to the case. Uh, six Lamotte. Need to know what six Lamotte looks like? Click here. Don't mind if I diddly do. So I know what Lamotte looks like. Could they have carved these a little better? Oh. I think... Nope, that's definitely not it. I think that's Lamont, and now we need six, which it'll happen. Perfect. I'm sorry, what was that hole? I've already solved this part. I've already solved this part. Oh. Okay. Well, then I guess that's sorted. So, did that open up a hole? That opened up a hole somewhere else. On one of these sides. There's a hole. It looks like a keyhole. Is that north, south? It looks like a keyhole. Uh -oh. It looks like a keyhole. <laughs> it looks like a keyhole. <laughs> it looks like a keyhole. <laughs> It looks like a keyhole. Uh. It looks like a keyhole. It looks like a keyhole. It looks like a keyhole. I'm about to go take a 12 hour nap. Oh, hey, Phlebotanist. Good to see you. Thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. 
It looks like a keyhole. <laughs> it looks like a keyhole. <laughs> no, what is it? Chase lag though. Now it looks like a keyhole. It looks like a keyhole. It looks like a keyhole, but what is it really? But we should ask it what it actually it is. Like a keyhole. Have I tried all of these at this point, or am I clicking the it same? It looks like a keyhole. Oh, put it together. What do you mean, put it together? It looks like a keyhole. Oh, I have two pieces of this box. It looks like a keyhole. I have to do that in the lab. Remember when y'all... I'm glad I didn't try to finish this game in the last one because it's taken me two hours. <laughs> Why can't Nancy just do it here? Why does she, why would she have to do something like this in the lab? Why can't she get a grip and learn how to do things? You don't have to have a table to do arts and crafts. I watched those three minute crafts. According things. to Henrik's notes, oh, I need to make a key out of these pieces. So that'll go on top. I know that. Well, fuck Nancy. I don't know. Figure it out. Oh. <laughs> well, fuck Nancy. I don't know. Figure it out. Oh, that looks like the wide one. Why won't it let me put it? Do I need to put the top on first? Oh, dear. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. I have it all figured out. I just don't think the ancient Mayans were doing this. Now I have the key. Oh, that is pretty cool. I liked when it was spinning. My favorite part of the game so far is when it was spinning. My favorite part of the game so far was when that key was spinning. have to choose which side of the cube goes here. Nothing happened. Well, turn it around, girl. Girl, sort it out. I'm guessing that was wrong. <laughs> I'm guessing that was wrong. Good God. Take me 20 minutes to walk around this thing. Hmm. <laughs> Don't you mean Nancy Drew. All right, let's try that one. Oh, what? Eat shit. Oh. Are we on this one? Well, I don't think the Mayans wanted you to have infinite tries on this. Surely a, 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 a death dart would have come out already and killed me. Am I too? Oh, I was starting to think I wasn't turning it. All right, one more side. This should be the last step. There's allegedly a dead body in here. I don't want to freak anyone out. We're going to save it. There's allegedly a dead body in this monolith that hasn't been opened in like 3,000 years? I'm just saying. Maybe we should have on a hazmat suit and a mask. Not Bachel. It's Bachel. Thank you so much, Brittany May, for the bits. I appreciate that. 
Bye, Lauren. Glad you got to be here. It's gonna I smell wonder awful. What's inside. <gasps> that's my cameo. <laughs> and that's my cameo in the Nancy Drew Cinematic Universe. Okay, this is really... Don't touch anything! Who's your friend, Nancy? Ah! Ah! Taylor Sinclair! She... Who'd you expect? Did she kiss the it? Tooth fairy? Looks like someone forgot her beauty cream. I guess we can't all age gracefully. She knows I'm how sure to she read, would say the honey. Same about you. You've been a top-notch assistant, Nancy. Well, we know you're not going to get any wrinkles going with all that grease on your world. face, Taylor. Oh, I guess it's time to respond to him. Why are you Why doing this? Why are you doing this? Nancy, do you have any idea what that book contains? It's blank, mama. Help me out, Sinclair. I'm drawing a blank. The it's the next volume of Heartstopper. The personal account of my life. The only written glimpse into Bacall's time anywhere. Do you know what I can get for that thing on the black market? Oh, shit. He's talking and his lips are moving too slow. <laughs> you have no right to do this. The book is not yours to sell. Simple economics suggest otherwise. And I am the art dealer. Is he going to seal me up in this tomb? Because what a way to go. This tomb and all of its contents belong to Mexico. Finders keepers, I say. Nobody even realizes this thing has any contents. Won't they get a surprise when they finally open it up and find that it contains a 7th century scribe and a 21st century detective. I'll be doing, and I'll be doing Adios, this. Nancy. <laughs> my, my corpse will be doing this. <laughs> okay, get ready to pose. <laughs> they open that. They open this 3,000 year old tomb. They see her and they, oh wait, should I be trying to get out? I'm oh! starting to run out of air <laughs> in here. I was too busy posing. I forgot I had to get out of here or I'd die. Something's missing here. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. I got this. Ah! <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Did that mummy have a Kit Kat bar in its mouth? I'm suffocating in here. Something Let me out. Missing here. I'm sorry. There was a full-on Kit Kat bar in that mummy's mouth. So I just need to find all this shit. Oh, was there something on that wall? Oh, man. I don't know where I am anymore. Oh, look up. So I need something circular now. You'd think that would be an eyeball. You got anything else in that mouth? I better stick my tongue in it to see if there's anything else in the mouth. Time out. We have to pause. <laughs> I hate it here. I should stick my tongue in that mummy's mouth to see if there's anything else in there. I can't breathe. Chat, where can I find something circular? Something's missing here. Oh, let's look down. Oh, there's a lot of, of more stuff than I thought. There's a down section. This may be the scribe's notes about Bacall. <gasps> oh, I found it, but I died. <gasps> that was just the sound of me crying. Oh, no! I, they found my mommy! That is gruesome as fuck! That was... Dark. Okay, that was dark. All right, hold on. Oh, let me get this out. Let me open up her mouth again. She said hi. I'm starting to run out of air in here. Girl, you. She has been in here less than like five seconds. The drama of pretending to run out of air, Miss Nancy Drew. I 
got to get out of here. <laughs> Behold, our heroine emerges from the tomb like a mermaid from the sea. Meanwhile, the foolish villain stews in the sour soup of his own miscalculation. From deep in the recesses of time, a wise royal scribe whispers her thanks. What is this bit they're and doing? Because the I almost just died. He's rescued from obscurity. Way to go, Nancy. Wait, have they been practicing this bit while I've been dying in the tomb? What in the world? <laughs> and what the Confound heck is this? Confound you, Nancy Drew! Did I give him the Dear wrong Dad, book? It was great to talk to you on the phone last night. I can't wait to see you back in River Heights where I can fill you in on the whole story. Can you believe that your own daughter was recently standing face to face with a real mummy? Oh, now I made out with that mummy too. Covered, I understand how important it is and why Taylor thought he could make a fortune selling it on the black market. The book what happened in the, the tomb stays in the tomb. <laughs> in existence anywhere. I'm sure it'll be a tremendous addition to our knowledge of the Maya, once it's translated, that is. And now that Henrik's memory is back up to speed again, I'm sure he'll be itching to get to work on it. So did he Taylor go to jail? Claire won't be making oh. any art deals for a long time, though, that's for sure. I guess I shouldn't be surprised about Alejandro's discovery that the Pakal carvings provenance documents were faked after all. When Franklin Rose Not and the board found mates. out, they arranged to return the artifact to Mexico right away. Mexican officials are so happy to have the artifact back, they have pledged a new era of diplomatic relations with Beach Hill. Joanna sure learned her lesson about making deals with shady operators like Taylor. The board has agreed to give her another chance, as long as she reforms her business tactics. And what else? No. Oh yes, what Poppy Dada has announced a new direction in her artwork. All her new paintings are going to feature, what else, mysterious red handprints. So I guess everyone is taking off in new directions now. I'm going to stay and help this exhibit get launched. But I'll see you back at home in a couple of weeks. Have a safe trip home. Love, Nancy. I kept everything. Dear Nancy, I kept Bess the George told me you're on a case in D.C. I hope everything is working out for you. I wish I could say the same for me. I'm planning on living here, but there's been some trouble. I oh, think is this someone that... or something doesn't want me here. Was this the Irish one? Please. Nancy, I'm afraid I can't stay here very much longer. I know you're busy, but I'm Why desperate. Why do I have this disc? I need you to come out and investigate. Please say you will. Your friend, Sally. Oh, ghost dogs? Yeah, I don't remember that one. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember that one at all. Are there bloopers after the after the stuff on this one? I never put it back in Nancy. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I don't remember any of the games I played. Yeah, the music really pops off. No bloopers. Oh, okay. Um, well, y'all stay tuned because I'm going to end the stream. But if you're on Twitch chat right now, stick around because we have some things to discuss, including which Nancy Drew game I will be playing next. Okay? That's the move. So, um, we're going to play the outro right now. Stick around. Say bye, YouTubers. Thank you for watching this VOD. But we will be deciding the next game right here. And, oh! I did have fun. <laughs> Thank you for the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all the reason I get to keep playing Nancy Drew games. And I love that so much. Y'all are freaking awesome and y'all made this game amazing. And I had so much fun. Um, stay tuned if you're on Twitch. We'll be deciding the next game. Otherwise, I will see y'all on Thursday with more video game. Exciting fun. Love you so much. Bye, but stick around. Semper Ubi Sabubi. <laughs> Don't leave.